Today on From the Bookshelf, Red Meat Republic, a hoof-to-table history of how beef changed America by Joshua Specht. Most of us don't really think too much about where our food comes from, uh, unless we have dietary restrictions, allergies, intolerances, or a chosen diet, or we're a part of the food production process, food just shows up at the market and we go from there. I'm sure we've heard funny stories or seen videos of small children horrified when they learn that nuggets come from chickens or that bacon comes from pigs. With that in mind, I found Specht's book important for a few reasons. Specht argued that beef had long been a status symbol in the U.S. and that the rise of the meatpacking industry in Chicago led to the democratization of beef meaning that middle and working class folks had access to new status markers through their food choices. Specht started with a discussion of the class warfare in the 19th century ranching West that went hand in hand with the U.S.'s conquest of Native American territory. He also highlighted the role cattlemen and cattle ranching played in those wars of conquest. Cattlemen's thirst for land led to increasing conflicts with Native American tribes trying to maintain their sovereignty. As large-scale cattle ranches gobbled up Native American land, the demand for cattle workers, cowboys, increased. Most ranch hands were working class men, often not white, and working toward financial independence. Specht connected the class issues of ranch work to the class issues of the meatpacking industry and butchers. In both cases, Specht showed the struggles of the working class against profit-oriented middle and upper classes. In both cases, Specht showed the struggles of the working class against the profit-oriented middle and upper classes. Specht closed with a discussion of how the increasing availability of beef led to a unique American cuisine and food way. Americans used beef as a class marker, and even working class folks could purchase beef fairly regularly. As beef became more readily available with different cuts at different price points, it also played a role in changing gender roles. Women were household managers in charge of the marketing, and middle class women were expected to be able to judge cuts of meat as part of that skill set. However, beef was coded masculine, from cattlemen to cowboys, to butchery being a man's job. Beef is for men. This made me think about Emily J.H. Contois diners, dudes, and diets, and the role of grilling and meat consumption in the creation of dude masculinity. There's a link of my review of her book in the description if you'd like a deeper explanation of her argument. I'm not sure how these two fit together yet, but now I understand that the tie between beef consumption and manliness is long-standing and quite complicated. Finally, Specht brought the conversation to military matters with a brief chapter on the U.S. Army's use of canned beef as a field ration in the late 19th century. Specht included this chapter in the discussion of growing concerns about contamination, sanitation, and freshness tied to the publication of Upton Sinclair's The Jungle. Sinclair often lamented that his tale of working class oppression was lost in the descriptions of unsanitary meatpacking practices. Specht brought the class implications and often outright class warfare to the forefront throughout this book. Red Meat Republic is organized so that the reader follows the cattle from the ranch to the table. While human class struggles are at the core of Speck's argument, he never strays too far from the animals that are the center of the industry. He made it clear that these are living beings worthy of respect, even after they are slaughtered for consumption, even when describing the ways cows are killed at slaughterhouses. After this point in the book, the focus necessarily turns to the people dressing the beef and then the people purchasing and eating the beef, though the respect for the animal remains. This book started out on my for fun shelf, but now I think it's going to the research shelf. I will also be adding Speck's discussion of the role cattle ranching played 
in the American Wars of Conquest in my future U.S. history courses. The connection of beef and masculinity is interesting and deserves more thought. And frankly, it's good to see a book that clearly explains a process that is vital to our society that most of us just don't think about in our daily lives. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and let me know if you ever thought about this before in the comments. You can support more work like this by becoming a patron on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Patrons have access to additional content, including conversations with other working historians, and get to vote on upcoming video topics. Check it out, and thanks for supporting the channel.